up. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm trying to fix my universe, my 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 hole in my universe. Um, <laughs> welcome everyone to Old Ass Movie Reviews. I'm Dave. That's Scott, and we are about ready to review Light of Day. Why? But first, Dave had to fix his hole. That's all I heard. Is uh, <laughs> so. Anyway, Light of Day. Joan Jett, Michael J. Fox, 1980 something. Obviously. Um, Wow, this was a it's, this was a movie. <laughs> you know, I think I enjoyed this movie more than you did. Um, I I have issues with it, but sorry, I also sorry. got some Fair good enough. out of it. I, I it's not a horrible movie. I think I texted mm-hmm. you that it's got good bones. It's right. got it's it's man. It, I think it's just so close to being something special. But um, let's hear your take. Tell um, me about the movie. Well, first off. Michael J. Fox, very young. Yeah. Um, yeah. Joan Jett, very young. Everybody's really yeah. young. Michael McKean, um, that's uh, Gina Rollins. I'm trying to think who else. The the person who played her, their dad, he looks so familiar as a dad character on yeah, every damn like show everywhere. I don't yeah. know who he is. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, anything with Joan Jett in it, I was going to watch. Especially right. back in the 80s, forget about it. I was, yeah. I was there, man. Um I had a crush on her then. I have a crush on her now. And it's, hey, knock it off. I have a new so, puppy and she's chewing on everything. Sorry. W- w- with that being said, uh, I think it's on Hulu. It's called Bad Reputation. And it's a Watched Joan Jett it. documentary. It's wonderful. Wonderful documentary oh on Joan. Oh, my God. She's so good. Stop it. It really shows how she is pretty much the godmother of punk. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, she absolutely. brought so many acts that I listened yeah. to. I had no idea that Joan was involved with and helping them. And it's like, oh, my God. So cool. And so I like cool. the story. I like the story about her and her uh, manager. Oh, yeah, dude. That, that <laughs> Joan Jett had got had left. Um, um, stop it. Runaways. The, thank you. She's <laughs> chewing on the table. It, it's My just dog. a table, Dave. You can buy a new table. Oh, Lord. No. You can't buy a new dog. I don't want her to choke on anything. That's well, that's problem. true. That's I've good. been watching, uh, real yeah. quick, I'm sorry, I'm going to go off on a tangent. Yeah. I've been watching Dr. Jeff, um, Rocky Mountain Vet. Oh, yeah? Any he good? I found it on, like, Paramount Network or, yeah. Yeah. or something. And my God, it breaks my heart. There, I start welling up about the dogs and the cats and the birds. I can't watch it then. Fighting. Thank you for the heads up. I will not be watching. But it's fantastic <laughs> because he's such yeah. a good vet. And yeah. so I, I see these these things, these animals are chewing on and eating and stuff. It's like, ah. So uh, I got to really keep an eye yeah, on please, this Yeah, please. Please make sure she don't eat the table. <laughs> oh, God. And now she just got up and moved. So now I'm wondering if I should run out and let her out the door to go to the bathroom or if she's going to poop in the middle of my floor. Hold on. I'll be right back. <laughs> Hi. Sorry, folks. I just, I'm in the middle of potty training my puppy. So <laughs> just had hey, to do it. Shit um, happens. Exactly. I don't want it to happen in the middle of my floor again. Uh, <laughs> where was I? Joan Jett. Um, Joan Jett, yeah. With her manager. When she left the runaways, I guess she was having trouble, you know, just just Mm -hmm. typical. A, 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 she was young. B, she was in the rock industry. C, she was told, you know, women don't rock still, even after the runaways, you know, you're you're nothing. You're not going to be a rock star. And she was having trouble. And somehow his wife either met Joan or I forgot how the how the story goes, but it's his wife that tells him. You need to go help this girl. She needs your help. This guy's getting ready to retire. He doesn't want anything to do with the music industry. He's done. He's just, they're a bunch of bastards. I don't want anything to do with them. And the wife looks at him and says, no, you need to go help this girl. She needs your help. Nobody else can help her. So he meets Joan Jett. And he makes and helps Joan Jett develop and become what she is. Mm -hmm. They're still together. Still Still together. And their you family. watch it's, it's so obvious. beautiful to watch their relationship. Yeah. It is a father-daughter relationship. Pretty much, yeah. That I think every daughter and every father wants to have. She's yeah. she, she's in the leather. I know this has nothing to do with the movie yet, but it's Joan oh, Jett. So it's Joan Jett, yeah. She's got this like leather outfit that she likes to wear on stage because it's tight and <laughs> lets gives her all the movement, but 
it's torn. And she's sitting there sewing it up. She, she's mending it. And he looks at her and goes, what are you doing? She's like, oh, well, I'm mending it. Again, I got to. I gotta fix it. We're gonna go on like, gonna go on stage with it. I, I would like to wear this. And he says something like, Why don't you just buy a new one? <laughs> she's like, You're always telling me we gotta save money or something it's like just that. Even like, now, you know. <laughs> learn from him how to earn and save money and not just blow all your wad and you know, so you're mm -hmm. a poor a, a poor rock Washed star. Washed up has you. been, yeah. So she's <laughs> sitting there across from him, and their banter is just like a yeah. father and daughter. It's so sweet. I highly, highly, highly yes. recommend the the show. It, it's uh, what is it called again? It, I think it's it was Bad Reputation. Bad it? Reputation. I highly recommend yeah. watching it, folks. If you're a Joan Jet fan or a rock, yeah, it was fan really or cool. A documentary <laughs> fan, just you'll love it. You'll love it. It's so good. Um, but back to the movie, her only movie, as far as I know, yeah. I, I think she did this movie. She said in an interview that her and Michael J. Fox got along really well. She it, would it show shows. Him, they got great she, chemistry. She would show him how to hold the guitar so it looked like he knew how, how to play it. Mm -hmm. or, or she may have even showed him how to do a couple of strums. And he was teaching her like how to act a little bit more natural. And, and you know, they, they helped each other out. And they, Evidently became friends. So I don't mm -hmm. know if that friendship has lasted or not. I don't know. But it was nice to hear that she had a lot of nice things to say about him. And I've heard him talk about her before and very nice. Like just mm -hmm. that she's a good, solid person. And for a first movie and only movie, she's a pretty good actress. Yeah. She, she was a good actress. Yeah. That I'm going to jump forward real quick to almost the end. Because that's just how my mind works. I'm going, mm -hmm. this is a very angst-ridden film. It's not my style film. It's not what yeah. I like to watch. Because I'm always constantly waiting for the other shoe to drop. And I don't like feeling like that. Sometimes if it's done really, really well, I really like it. But in this one, it was just... It made you A uneasy. lot of it hit yeah. close to home for me um, mm -hmm. in a very weird sense. I don't know how to explain it without getting too personal, so I'm not going to oh, do it. Yeah, that's that's uh, fine. <laughs> uh, movies have a tendency to do that to but, anybody, you know. It's but but it was uh, it, it was too angsty for me for mm. both of the characters, and that that's fine. It, it, it's this is somebody's favorite movie, I guarantee you. Oh, I'm this sure. Is someone's absolute favorite movie, and there is a lot to like about it. There mm -hmm. is a lot to just just kind of mm -hmm. like. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that would happen, but mm, okay, we're going yeah. there. But it was a it was a good movie if you like angsty stuff. But the end with the mom, the end with the mom in the hospital, and Joan Jett's character being with her while they're trying to take her her blood and trying to get tests mm -hmm. done, they keep missing the vein. They're just like. It happens, it, and it, it happens more than it should, in my opinion. But what are you going to do? But Joan Jett is talking to the mom and just saying, you know, you, all, all you can hear is my voice. All you know, mm -hmm. the, they can't get into our world. And she's trying to get her mom off of them taking the blood and missing and yeah. constantly hitting her. And she's just, and it's one of those moments that just, I actually welled up. I was like, oh my God, after everything these two idiots have been through, this daughter has just come straight back and is trying to help the mom. Mm -hmm. And then the last scene with her and the mom talking and the mom, it just, just was really a good scene to show that the mom wasn't as bad mm -hmm. as you always, as you were meant to think she is. And actually she's probably the best person in the movie. When all that's, is said that's probably and done, accurate. Yeah, when all is said and done, she is literally the best person in the movie. And it's like, that was a good bit of writing for me. Mm. The the actress um, that played the mom, you know it. Um, Gina Rollins. You, thank you. Gina Rollins, big time character actress, mm -hmm. has the chops to do this kind of stuff. And she played it really, really well. 
Michael J. Fox, I don't buy as a blue collar guy working at a factory. He did super he never he never looked the part. I mean, they tried to put shirts and jeans on him to look dirty and stuff. And I just he never looked dirty enough. He never looked scruffy enough. Yeah. And I knew good looking guys that worked in factories. But yeah, by, but he by was the time he, day he, was over. They were not. Yeah, he came home like completely clean. Yeah, it, he didn't look like he worked in a factory. He's like, what do you make? Nothing. Oh, TV trays or what plates of Princess Di and Charles. Yeah, whatever they were. Um, but all Thurming in all, that was, pretty, yeah. that, that was pretty cool. I mean, maybe you missed cast, but I understand why they cast them. Because those two yeah. really did have good chemistry as brother and they, sister. They do. And this, this movie basically just follows a uh, brother and his sister uh his older sister who he looks up to she's a single right. mom and she has dreams of being a rock star and she is yeah. going to pursue that no matter what even at the expense of neglecting her child yeah. she starts off this movie as a very unlikable character oh um, yeah yeah that's what i mean I, like, yeah like, it's just like really nice. wow but in the end when it took her mom dying basically to bring her back mm-hmm. and to see what was important. And it's a damn shame that that's what it took. Um, yeah. My issues from the movie just come from the dialogue. There yeah, are things, okay. there are things that are said that people don't talk like that or wouldn't have said, it just seemed like, what are you doing, Paul Schrader with the way you wrote this? It's just, let's, let's have stakes that go nowhere. I don't know. I just felt like the movie was, was I, I'm going to say it. I think it's a fucking mess, but it works. But it's just like, you know how to write blue collar dialogue. Yeah, it just the dialogue was off, man. I was like, what am I listening to? People ain't talking like this. Yeah. It just was weird. Um, <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you mean. And I yeah. think I know most of the areas that you're talking about. Yeah, like, it's just like if you're in a band scratch and you're my club head. and you're not. You're not going to talk quite that way. There you are times like you, you weren't have, in a band and you yeah, were, you, yeah, yeah. But if you were blue collar, you know, not, not I lived in Taylor, Michigan, I in mm. in bad, bad areas and good areas, and and blue, very blue collar is really what it was. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't even want to say that it was a bad area, it was just very blue collar. And I don't mean that as an insult or anything because no. I'm, I'm a blue collar worker, you're a blue collar worker, and everybody who's watching us is probably all blue collar. I really doubt if we got anybody that's making. Eight hundred thousand, nine hundred thousand dollars a year watching us. Because if they did, they'd be offering us a job to do this professionally, and I would sell out because mm-hmm. I'm a sellout. <laughs> One million dollars. Um, but um, yeah, the dialogue yeah. just some That's of it is really bad, and other parts is amazing because some parts were really good and mm-hmm. believable, and then there are yeah. other parts where you're just like. Who would say that? Who would talk I got, like that? I felt like there were a few scenes, and I uh, uh, and I apologize because I can't bring them to mind. But I remember just being pulled out of the movie a yeah. few times by. Yeah, I know what you mean. The dialogue or something's like, "Whoa, wait a minute, wait, where where where, where are we going here?" And then it, everything comes back, and it just it seems like here's the deal. I believe this movie has has a, could be really really good. Mm-hmm. Um, things with Jones' character move way too fast. I think if the movie focused more on her and less on Michael J. Fox, yeah, um, yeah. you could even damn near take the brother out of the equation and have more, more drama and more depth. Uh, oh, and I always say taking the, the brother, mom. yeah, yeah, and the yeah. dad. I, I always, I always say taking the brother out because we're looking at an hour and a half movie, and I think that's the reason why it feels disjointed because there's so much there that they yeah. just cram in and it's like, man, this thing could be trimmed up and we could go deeper on some human interaction here. Yeah. That's just yeah. me. It's it's not a bad, it's not a bad watch other than the fact that on Amazon prime, it's, it's worse than a VHS copy. It's really a shitty uh, yeah, transfer. I, I noticed, I noticed that it looked kind of rough and I, and I thought, well, that's odd. Usually they're really sound cheap. was bad and it was very rough. <laughs> it's like, wow. But what I'm wondering is how low the budget might've been for this. Like that yeah. might that might be the actual best copy that they could get. Well, you know I guarantee I mean? you I showed know. in the theaters probably at a 16 by 9, 16 by 10 ratio, not yeah. a or you know, a more theatrical yeah. look versus the four by three made yeah. for TV. Yeah. So I think they just put up the made for TV uh reel and so there it is. Cause that, that could be. Amazon's the only place I found it to rent. Yeah. So yeah. I didn't see it on Tubi. 
which it's is nowhere else. Usually my go-to place. Oh, absolutely. I love Tubi. Movie. But uh and yeah, we do still love Tubi, folks. Still yes. love Tubi. Hashtag but Tubi. Joan, <laughs> but Joan Jet really she did a good job. Yeah. I mean yeah, absolutely. And I would like to ask her why she never went back and did it any more acting. But I'm guessing it's like how most actors just with wasn't the exception her then. of the guy from Rolling Stones, Mick Jagger. With that exception, most of them just look around and went, it's too slow. Whereas in a song, you know, if you're in music, you can pull out your yeah. guitar and you're constantly strumming yeah. and playing. It's, it's a, a movie, different thing, yeah. In a movie, even even the little things that you and I have done, it takes us a little bit to get set up. It takes it's, us... And it's less when it's just me and you because it's me and you and we're goofing around the whole time we're doing it. Right, but right. When, when we're waiting for somebody else to do something or somebody else has to do something, it's like, okay, now I'm waiting. Now I'm waiting. Now I'm waiting. <laughs> so I wonder if that's what what it was. It, it could be. Else. It could be. And maybe it, some, you know, because it, it is a different. It is a different thing. But no, she yeah. was perfectly fine in it, and it yeah. and it was uh, the the soundtrack is definitely '80s Joan Jett. Um, yeah. I'm not that fond it. of it. Of it, well, really, it's, I love that song. I love that. The song's fine. Song. Um, it just, I, I like, I like her a lot harder um yeah this this was heading toward too much pop for me for joan jett oh and, really and, and, and which is funny to say because joan jett's songs hit the pop chart but this I one just say have you I never know. heard her redo the mary tyler moore song <laughs> no but i will go look no? now oh my no. god dude it's i gotta check it out awesome it one, but no, like it's, friends. It's, it's yeah it's just like you when you listen you're like rocking it joan jett yeah and then all of a sudden you're like mary tyler moore <laughs> yeah, that's awesome but <laughs> it's it, it just it sounded like every other 80s uh, song. Soundtrack. Yeah. yeah, it yeah, did. It. And it. maybe it was really cool then. Uh, I don't hate this movie at all. Uh, no, no, I, no. You know, I, I, I will give give this. It is an enjoyable watch. It's got it's got some good music. It's Joan Jett. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the chemistry between Michael J. Fox and Joan Jett is awesome. Uh, I believe them as brother and sister. So. I, you know what else I really, after watching them talk, cause there's a scene where he, he and her are dancing and it's like after the bar is closed and they're just talking, they're just having a brother, sister talk, but they're just dancing around. You know, I, I don't know if anybody else has ever done that with a, with their sister or brother, you know, and you're just dancing and talking and you're like, Oh, blah, 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 you know, talking shit. I sitting there watching that and I'm like, they should, their next movie should, they should have, I don't know who didn't see it. It should have been a romantic comedy with those two in it. They should have had a romantic comedy together. Somebody missed the mark with those guys. I agree. Hey, I agree. Stop chewing on that. No, I'd watch it. I'd dogs watch it. Chew, uh, dogs trying to chew on my paintings. Stop it. Oh man, she's embossing them. <laughs> embossing. She's putting her stamp of <laughs> approval. <laughs> so she doesn't pee on them. I'm okay. That's she's it. Good. So no, she's a um, good dog. So a <laughs> that's good, awesome. Good puppy. <laughs> but I I enjoy it. I do give it a. Uh, I say watch it. It's there's a lot worse yeah. out there. It is a I, neat '80s film. So just be prepared for angst. Is all I'm saying. Now, yeah, that's this, a good way to put it. I didn't think of that. It's, this may not be as high a level of angst as I was feeling last night watching it. For you or whoever else is out there, or you or you or you. Um, but for me, it, it, and I think it maybe it is because of the eighties and the blue color. Cause they're in Cleveland. I lived in Detroit. I saw some of those streets. I, mm -hmm. you know, those bars were a lot cleaner than any of the bars I was dragged to, but I understand the yeah. concept of drinking a Pabst blue ribbon or, or a Colt 45 back in the day, uh, or going over to Windsor and doing the same thing. So it was cool, but it's like, like, a lot of other memories are flooding in at the same time. So it's like, ah, oh, ah. I'm, and I don't know if it was my own angst from the time coming back no. to haunt me or if it was the movie's angst. <laughs> I have a lot of PTSD from the 80s, folks. What I can remember. <laughs> yeah, don't we all? Don't we all? The sad individual. but I have a new puppy, so I don't care. There, there you go. So Dave got a new puppy and says, watch this movie. I say, give it a watch if you want. You could do yeah. worse. Yeah. It's not it bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. So next week, 
We are sticking in, staying in the musical genre, and we're going to go get a little weird. So come join us. See you next week. <laughs>